Welcome back. I'm Axinia. And I'm Erica, and we are all now returning from fall break. So what were you up to on those times off? I really enjoy fall break, and I got to see basketball game for the first time at the Sprint Center in Kansas City. Who was playing? Um, it was Miami, Miami and Minnesota. So it was really fun. I got to see some professional players, and it was a really exciting game. I was rooting for Miami, even though they lost. I actually enjoyed it. What about you? What did you do? That's awesome. I ended up going to a music festival in Austin, Texas called uh, Austin City Limits. And it was super cool. There's a picture I actually took myself. Um, we saw a ton of bands. We saw um, Chainsmokers, Kendrick Lamar. We went to Mumford & Sons, Porter Robinson. It was so cool. And the atmosphere is so cool because everybody's just so that excited. That sounds cool. Yeah. yeah. So what kind of music are you into? Uh, I actually like more electronic music, like EDM, house music. So, like, my favorite um, music artist is Diplo. Cool. And, and you I, said you went to a concert, right? Yeah, I used to. Like, no, not used to. I got to see him maybe a couple of months ago. No, actually not. Three months ago. I think cool. it was during the summer. It was really fun, and I got to see him with my friends. They're, like, different type of DJ as well. So it was interesting. Yeah. How did you get into like that kind of music? Uh, actually, my boyfriend he is uh, a DJ, but he's not like a professional DJ. But he also creates his own mixes, and he showed me a couple of artists. So I was like, "Oh, that sounds really cool!" Because I usually listen kind of Russian music and not really American music. And he showed me that type of music, and I was like, "Well, that's cool!" And it's like I'm gonna try and listen to it. And I know it's like an addiction now. I was going to say, that's kind of like a trend right now, EDM. It's fun. I loved it. Yeah, exactly. What about you? What do you like? Um, I like everything, but I'm a huge country person. And you're probably thinking she's from Kansas. That's probably why. But <laughs> I don't know. I love country music. And actually, um, I'm super excited for Brad Paisley is going to be here tonight. So that is going to be so fun. It's at Memorial Stadium. And it is going to be, well, the parking lot. And it's going to be packed. And I'm so excited and I love that everyone's tailgating and getting ready because I feel like that just adds to the atmosphere. There's like a huge country concert in the summer for Kenny Chesney when he comes and that people are always tailgating and getting ready and it just makes it that much more fun. I'm always wondering why people enjoy listening to country music. I don't know <laughs> if there's like an answer for that. I don't know. I, I mean, uh, country music has come a long way from where it was uh, like a long, like not a long time ago, but like when it first started, I feel like it was more like, I don't know, banjo, like true country and I feel like now it's kind of turning into more of like a pop country type genre but I mean I love it I think it's so awesome so <laughs> I remember one time I saw people dancing like while listening to country music it was really I was laughing because I would never dance like that but I don't know it was just a really crazy dance but I think like some people who could can see me dancing uh, while listening like Diplo or I don't know like Martin Garrix they would also love because basically what you do is just jumping. I was like, what do you do? Just <laughs> yeah. like you basically like jumping, and that's all you do. Or actually, there is a dance, a particular dance. I think it's called shuffling or something like that. Oh, do you know how to do it? You no, wanna, I don't know how to dance it. But one time I tried to do that, but it was a failure. But you know, we're just having fun. You win some, you lose some, you know. So uh, I understand yeah. that. Yeah. So. I don't know. What else can we say? <laughs> I don't know. Everyone should go out to Brad Paisley tonight because it'll be awesome. So. Yeah, maybe one time. Maybe one time. We'll I get her there. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys. Stay tuned. And we have uh, Brad coming with a guest.
down the remote, get up, and be active. Welcome back. I'm Bray Ellis, and we have a special guest today, Peter Fusilero. Thank you for coming on the show today. So how's your day been so far? Day's been good, man. Nice, bright and early, man. I'm ready to go. It's cold weather out there. Trying to stay warm, huh? Trying to, man. So I'm aware that you're in Rock Chalk Video. How, how did you get involved? Um, I got uh, into Rock Chalk Video um, through volunteering. Um, right. I started off in uh, Journalism 210, um, Professor Cow's class. Right. And, uh, you know, I, I volunteered all around. You know, went to Fox Sports and Time Warner, but I kind of found a home with Rock Chalk Video. And they liked what I was doing, and they kind of hired me around, I would say, January of last year. That's good. That's good. So um, tell me what you just been hired recently for the men's basketball team. Yeah, um, so recently, um, through Jeremy Case, the video coordinator, I, I just got hired uh, to be the to assist him with all the videography, all the behind the scenes videos. Right. Um, we'll we'll do you know, little stuff for recruiting and other stuff like that. So that's what we've been currently working on. Okay. That's good. Um, so I'm aware that you're a women's basketball practice player, mm -hmm. um, and I know that you just came to Europe. You went to Europe this past summer. Mm -hmm. Tell me how that experience was for you. Um, it was good. Uh, so how I got to go to Europe was, I mean, obviously uh, being with the women's team last year, um, and, you know, just kind of developing a good relationship. Right. Uh, I was able to, you know, they knew about uh, Rock Chalk Video and everything, so they really wanted me to kind of go with them on the trip, uh, document, you know, the day-to-day -day experience, because I'm really comfortable with the girls and the coaching staff, so, you know, it made for a, a pretty good pretty good job, or pretty good videos. And what part, part of Europe did y'all go to? Um, so in Europe, uh, we, we first went to Paris. We went to Paris for around five days, and then we went to um, Montreux, Switzerland. It's a right. beautiful country. And then uh, we went to, we finished on the trip with Nice. Okay. Um, and so that was really cool, you know, obviously, with the tragedy that happened, we stayed really close to the memorial. Right. So just kind of being there and like experience all that was really cool. What would you say the difference like in the food down there and here? Yeah, I remember when we first got there, we went to you know a typical French restaurant and you know we had snails, we had escargot for the first time. So that was kind of a culture shock, but overall, you know, I, I enjoyed it for the most part. It That's wasn't good. too bad. That's good. So what was going through your mind when you hit those back-to-back -back threes at late night in the Allen Fieldhouse? Oh yeah, so you know, getting the opportunity to scrimmage against the women as uh, one of the practice players was definitely really cool. You know, 16,000 people. You know, it, it was it was definitely an experience that's like bigger than even high school. So, um, you know, just to hit you know two shots back-to-back, uh, -back, you know, in Allen Fieldhouse, you know, very historical place was really special. You're ice in your veins, huh? Something like that. You know, I was just, I was just trying to get a couple buckets. So what's the pr uh, process of becoming a um, uh, practice player for um, uh, women's basketball? Yeah, so, um, you know, Coach Andy, the player de uh, de de developmental coach, uh, he, uh, he's in charge of, uh, you know, getting players. And so last year, you know, a friend of mine, Michael Wade, uh, you know, he asked me would I want to, you know, is this, would this be something I'd be interested in? Right. So I said, of course. And so last year, um, just going with them the whole year, uh, it was awesome. Um, you know, it's something, you know, uh, you know, kind of gives you back the high school experience, you know, an organized feel, and it's not, you're part of something bigger than yourself, which was really cool. And uh, so, you know, this year, you know, I recruit, I was a big part of, like, getting new practice players, and so, you know, finding good people that would, you know, help run scouting and stuff like that, I think it was really cool just kind of be a part of that. That's cool. That's good. So what made you come to KU? What made you want to come to, to do school here? Um, obviously, with everything I'm doing now, it, it was it's all tied to basketball. Right. I think I just wanted to be in a place you know that has you know the best basketball environment, you know, good family atmosphere, and you know when I was looking through schools and I took my visits, um, you know this was a place that you know definitely had all of that, and so couldn't say no. Yeah, KU is rich in rich in tradition when it comes to basketball. Um, so that's all the time we have today. Thank you, Peter, for being our guest. I appreciate you giving us time of the day. I know you're busy. And um, stay tuned for the news update. Where you go to college makes a statement about you. This place will become a part of you, your identity for life. The University of Kansas, a great place to be you. Welcome back. I'm Sammy Sherg, and this is your Good Morning KU News Update. 
Samsung is expected to have more than $5 billion in losses due to the company's Galaxy Note 7. Many incidents where the Note 7 either burst into flames or created heavy smoke drove Samsung to ditch the production of the phone. Samsung is offering U.S. customers $100 in credit to trade in their phones. The terrorist group Boko Haram released 21 girls and women yesterday. Boko Haram kidnapped nearly 300 girls and women from a school in Nigeria in 2014, and just under 200 are still missing. Singer Bob Dylan became the first musician ever to win the Nobel Prize in Literature. Dylan earned the honor for the lyrics in his songs after the Nobel judges determined his songs were poetic and qualified for the literature category. Country music star Brad P Paisley will perform a free concert tonight in the parking lot of Memorial Stadium. The event is part of Paisley's Country Nation College Tour. Gates will open at 6.30 and opening act Brett Young will take the stage at 7.30. And that's our news update for today. After a quick break, Brandy will be here with sports. Welcome back, I'm Brandi Smith with your Friday Sports Update. After a close loss last week to the TCU Horned Frogs, KU football travels to Waco, Texas Saturday to take on the Baylor Bears. Baylor leads the Big 12 in several major categories, including passing defense and rushing offense. KU has lost six straight games to the Bears. Kickoff is set for 2.30 and can be seen on Fox Sports 1. Kansas Tennis had a clean sweep 6-0 sweep in their first day at the ITA Central Regionals yesterday. KU secured wins over Oklahoma, Missouri State, St. Louis, and Drake, among other teams. Day 2 of the Central Regional Championships begin this morning at 8 and will continue through the weekend. KU Volleyball's Cassie Waite was named a candidate for the Senior Class Award earlier this week. Waite has been a defensive anchor for the Jayhawks, leading the Big 12 over five digs per set and the second on the KU all-time digs list with just under 1,700. And lastly, the KU cross-country team travels to Indiana on Saturday to compete in the pre-national invitational. There are over 80 other teams in the field with 11 teams being ranked in the top 25. Races begin at 10 a.m. and will continue on to 1 p.m. And that's going to wrap, up, wrap it up for, t for our sports update. Stay tuned after the break. Megan will join us from outside Stauffer Flint Hall with the SUA Therapy Dogs. Hi, welcome back. I'm Megan Linder, and we are live from the Stoutner Flint Lawn. Today, SUA is putting on an event for Mel um, Mental Awareness Month. I Today here, I'm interviewing Tyler. Tell us a little bit about it. Okay, so Student Union Activities is putting on this event. It's really just to give students a chance to let go of some stress and get a chance to pet some dogs. And this is for Mental Health Month. Last week, we had yoga on the lawn. This week, we have therapy dogs next week we're doing a poetry slam and the week after on Friday we're doing a uh, mental health fair so it's a great chance for students just to let out some stress and have a good time yeah it's really great that we have dogs out here right now we have four dogs and quite a few students have come by um, today it's from 10 to 11 a.m. so I encourage all of you to come by stop by pet some dogs on this little chilly Friday um, do you have anything else you want to add about the SUA event today uh, no, we just hope everybody can come down and check it out and come pet some dogs. All right, thank you. Um, up next, we will have Travis with the weather. Where you go to college makes a statement about you. This place will become a part of you, your identity for life.
the University of Kansas. A great place to be you. Hello, welcome back. I'm Travis Calvin here with your weather update. It's my meteorology debut. Hopefully you guys like it. It's going to start off on uh, starting at 11 a.m., moving on into noon. It's going to be 61, 63. No, it's mid-60s all day today. It's going to be pretty nice weather all the way around, all into the, uh, going to warm up a little bit at 4 and 6, all the way into the, a little bit of the upper 60s. It's going to be pretty nice because tonight, if you look at it, 65 for all you going to the Brad Paisley concert, you're going to like it. Very great weather, pretty mild winds, nice, uh, nice even temperature, cloudy. So no, no crazy winds, no rain. It's all going to be looking really nice. And going in on into tomorrow morning is going to warm up. It is definitely going to warm up because it's 81 is the low. It's going to be actually pretty windy, though. Uh, you're going to see some winds almost peaking at about 10 miles per hour and on into your five-day forecast, which is looking a little funky if I do say so myself. Uh, 81 for Saturday, 83 on Sunday, moving on and warming up again into Monday. Start of your week on uh, next week is gonna be pretty toasty for some uh, mid-October weather, you have to say. And on into Tuesday and Wednesday is gonna cool back down and be just fairly nice weather. So no real, no real rain in the radar for your weekend or for your weekend and your week ahead, but you know, it's going to be pretty great weather overall. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching today. Uh, this has been Good Morning KU. Tune in on Monday at 10 a.m. for another episode. Have a great day, everybody.